Hello and welcome back. This is a bike soldier armor mage cowl hunter shoes build. It's a pretty almost cheap I would say. It's not like really expensive. It's 270k in total with food and poison bots and healing bots and everything. So basically for standard you're gonna be going with these skills. First a Q, Impaler and of course like just the passive never really changes. It's always life leech. And uh, if for PvE, like you're, when you're just killing mobs, you switch to Frost Spears because it's much faster. In case you can, went against a War Bow, a Bad on Bow, any hard kiting builds, go for Harpoon. In case you went against any Sword builds, go for Cripple. In case you went for any against a Trinity Spear, you can switch to Deflecting Spin. And you're gonna see inside the matches itself the most important part. Roasted Pyromester Snapper is an amazing food. It is really of like a big key to this build, so don't cheap out on it. It is amazing, you're gonna get a lot of value out of it. And of course, don't forget the set for Cape. And if you wanna join the giveaway, as always, make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave a comment with your in game name and hashtag giveaway. And of course, if the video gets 20 likes, the giveaway is gonna happen for sure. And let's hop up and see the matches. Okay, so let's see the first matchup here. That was a sword, a claymore. He pre stacked into an E. You can see I immediately used my soldier armor to get the stacks and get the value out of the E. He did purge me. Uh, he played it so well, but like whenever he's using a gig boost, guy got five boost or guardian boost, whenever he uses his ability, you just need to use refreshing sprint away. And keep your distance. You can see how much sustain I got out of the roasted Bureau Mr. Snapper to the point that he did everything so well, but I still won because just like the amount of life steal I'm getting. You can see this here too, since it's another claymore night boots. Like you can see how much you're sustaining. It's almost is not dropping like from just basic attacking and like doing my skills on him. You can see how much insane the damage is when your soldier armor is stacked and you throw a poison pot. That's a mage ca mage robe, hunter hood, blood letter. All you just need to do here, like remember, you're not heavily ranged, but your range is more than him, so you can play the range game here. Like exactly like here, you're just playing the range game. Like you can e him into a Q, into a W, and he can't do anything. Can't even basic attack you. Like you can see that his my HP is like almost full and he couldn't really attack me just because we're keeping our distance. Like we're playing kite build somehow. Like honestly it was his fault to give me this opportunity but if someone give you an opportunity like that you have to take it. That's a one handed crossbow. It's a really strong weapon currently actually. For sure it's a mercenary jacket. I do remember it, that's why I was trying here to like one shot him. I should have waited a little bit before I made my full combo. You have seen like the amount of damage, I could have just detracted him into a one shot because they always try to like merc jacket whenever they are like almost half health or something. So if you can one shot him from that point, his merc jacket is useless. But it was pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie, I really thought I was losing there. That's a regular bow, so all you just need to do is take one of his cooldowns and run away because you know bow doesn't have that much mobility. <coughs> Same time he has to stand while he's attacking every single time, so you just go a bit away and until the stacks is gone. Sorry for the phone call if you could hear that. So here it was pretty tricky honestly, I did use my soldier armor and went 10 with the healing bot and I said I'm gonna be able to sustain it, but it was pretty close actually, I didn't need to take that risk at all, but it was pretty, like we still won either way, that's an Avalonian. Uh, war gloves, I don't really believe in Avalonian war gloves when it comes to actually corrupted dungeons in the current meta like the weapon is pretty nice and everything but not really for corrupted i would say it's more into like an open world weapon you can see this is not much he can do basic attack wise like his spear would always be better at the same time q and w i still would say spear is better i don't know why did he do that probably he misclicked his q twice 
I think and I'm like so I read oh that's a dagger bear you can see like whenever you don't have screen advantage you need to come in with cautious so like start dancing a bit like left and right when you're coming into him like just in case there's a dagger bear here like with the screen advantage he had like he threw that apple without even me seeing him yet so that was like a free e for him that's why you always need to take care with the screen advantage whenever you are the one on the top and he's the one on the down take care of the screen advantage and actually try to dance a bit to dodge a skill or two that he gonna try to throw and you can see here i did use my soldier armor just because his poison is gonna stack my soldier armor really well you can see it's already fully stacked i did make it like a little bit in time not even sure if i eat with the soldier armor or not honestly and he just wants to take an e as a value but honestly at that point it's already gone so this guy just decided to switch to fucking uh that's a glaive build sorry i'm just taking off the sound because i'm probably was in a call talking with someone while i'm doing the corrupted okay let's see that's a normal glaive build i'm going in with cautious he's in a soldier boots for some reason i don't really believe in soldier boots in the current meta for like the non hard kiting builds like a glaive build i really don't believe soldier boots should be a thing for a glaive um like take Refreshing a sprint is much better, at least gonna get value out of it. And that's a one handed dagger. He did burge. I don't know why did he try to burge me at the beginning. Actually, I need to go back a little bit. Like the kiting was pretty fine here. I did use my resi bot. And then I just, like, as you could see here. I wanted, like, I just wanted him to get inside the thingy so I can dab him in. Like, I wanted to time it perfectly and dab him with the toxic thingy, but apparently I already used my Q on it, so it wasn't really needed into a snare. To f always remember you have the higher range, so you just by taking two steps back, he can't attack you while he can attack, while you can attack him. And here it's pretty much free, just because the place of combat that he chose was pretty much to my advantage honestly like he didn't read to fight here at all i would say all he just needed to do is actually try to drag me out a bit because like if i have a stun as nerd anything he's pretty much gonna get destroyed by the lava thingy and that was it it was 10 matches that's only nine of them i lost one it was a daybreaker and it was pretty sad i would say um in the end i'm gonna show you a small part of like how much money i got out of the whole session like the whole 10 matches i lost one set so i lost 270k and you're gonna see how much i won at the end so i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you don't uh, at the same time if you want to join the giveaway just make sure you're subbed leave a like and leave a comment with your in-game name and hashtag giveaway thank you so much for your support and peace out here comes the money here we go money talks here comes the money, money.